Good afternoon to everybody. It is our pleasure to be part of this special remote session of ATF EAAP. My name is Dionys Forster. I'm here with my colleague Robert Erhard. We are both agricultural raw material sourcing leads at the Nestle Center in Veve, Switzerland. In addition to his work at Nestle, Robert Erhard is also the president of the SAI platform. He will mainly engage in the panel later on. Feeding 9 billion people by 2050. Some might see it as a threat, others see it as an opportunity. This is a 20 years old slide, ladies and gentlemen, but still today it is actual. The themes haven't changed, but while 20 years back only a few people in the food industry have talked about it, these themes have become front page topics of newspapers and specialized magazine articles today. I will not further emphasize on them. These themes are all important. Instead, let me say a few words about agricultural raw material ingredient sourcing at Nestle. Nestle has basically two ways of sourcing. Through multi-tier upstream supply chains, by buying ingredients from large industries such as Cargill, ADM, etc. Or through Farmer Connect, where we purchase directly at Farmgate or at cooperative level. Since the beginning of Nestle, about 150 years ago, sourcing at Farmgate has always been an integral part of Nestle supply chains. The Farmer Connect program, however, exists for about 20 years. End of 2019, we were sourcing through Farmer Connect from about 550,000 farmers. In this context, we also trained about 430,000 farmers on good agriculture practices. As part of the Nestle Farmer Connect, we have rolled out the Nestle Sustainable Agriculture Initiative here on the slide, which is all about sustainable agriculture practices. More recently, we started to work on sustainable intensification of agriculture. In September 2019, our CEO Mark Schneider committed to zero net emissions by 2050. This includes scope 1, 2 and 3. Since then, we have been heavily working on our roadmap. Whatever sourcing project we now initiate has to be in alignment with our overall ambition towards zero net emissions. But you will see in the following two cases that we have started some time ago to prepare the ground for this movement. Let me come to the first case, biodiversity, soil, greenhouse gas emissions. It is a dairy case from Chile. It all started with a project on farm sustainability evaluation, which was carried out in the dairy supply chain in Chile in 2010-2011. Obviously, not all sustainability parameters were in the green area, but some as well in the yellow and in the red. The awareness and the knowledge gained out of this exercise led to the development and introduction of a unique sustainability program. A point system addressing topics such as biodiversity, soil, greenhouse gas emissions, animal welfare, environment in general and human health was developed. As per the points reached, the farmer is paid a proportional price premium. The program is not top down but rather bottom up as it allows farmers to choose those intervention measures that are most appropriate for their farms. Over the time, the program made considerable progress in transformation of farms towards better biodiversity stewardship, soil health improvement, GHG emission reduction and others. The speed of transformation is dependent on the farmer's own capability and willingness, as well as the attractiveness of the price premium. From a marketing and communication point of view, Nido is a very well-known brand in Chile. Its communication is building on real stories of mothers who let their kids be the way they are. They all care to their best. Likewise, farmers care for their animals and their farms with the goal to hand over a sustainable business to their children. The communication runs in parallel through different channels. The piece of caring connects on both sides. Let me come briefly to the second case. It is a farmer association biodiversity scheme, a dairy case from Switzerland. About 30 years ago, the farmer organization IP Swiss, which stands for Integrated Production Switzerland, was founded. Today, there are almost 20,000 Swiss farmers involved. It is one third of all farmers in Switzerland. Around the year 2010, the association started the development of its biodiversity scheme for their farmers. In the development of its scheme, IPSWIS involved three known research organizations to come forward with a tangible framework. 
it was a very innovative piece of work that went above and beyond what the Swiss national regulation required for ecosystem service payment. Similar to what we have seen in the case of Chile, the Farmer Association built their framework on a point system. Also, they developed an internet platform where farmers could inscribe their farms and sign up for the practices. The same system is then used for monitoring. Periodically, research organizations are reviewing and evaluating the impact of the scheme on biodiversity and report back to the organization. Nestle decided in 2016 to expand the IP Swiss program to Nestle supplying farmers. Since then, 46 farmers deliver fresh milk under the biodiversity scheme to Nestle confectionery factory in Bro. From a marketing and communication point of view, it is actually rather simple. Kaye is a 200 years old, very traditional Swiss brand with its factory located in one of the best milk production areas in Switzerland. What do you need it more? than just combining an old brand with one of the most trusted recent Swiss farmer brands. And here you go. A small brand logo is certifying the IP Swiss milk on the Kaye chocolate. Coming to the summary, we understand that biodiversity and environmental schemes can deliver true value to farmers and consumers. We also believe that simple point systems are able to accelerate transformation towards biodiversity and soil health. Our experiences show that it is important that farmers can develop their own farm-specific roadmaps to biodiversity. With other words, giving him or her the opportunity to select those practices that fit best first. Concerning marketing, communication can be advanced, as seen in the example of Chile, or rather simple, with the brand logo as shown in the case of Switzerland. And one word to the outlook. In view of our climate pledge, we believe that such point systems may also be instrumental for the transformation of entire value chains to zero net carbon emissions. Thank you for your attention.